but not just any joints. We're going to learn about synovial joints. The synovial joints are when you keep moving. Okay, so we're going to do ball and socket joints. Ball and socket joints are when a ball shaped bone fits into a cup like socket. So, ball and socket joints help rotation. So, hand and pivot, shoe. This is the easy version. And this is Shanna, she'll do the harder version. Now if you don't want to do too little and too big, then just follow me. So we're going to go round, but not too much. And keep jogging if you're doing this. Hi guys, so let's do a joint to keep you jogging. So let's do a joint. Are joints that help your flexibility and extension. So we'll go to Hannah first. She's doing the easy version. As you can see, not too far over. You do the Hannah. So now Shanna, she's doing hard version. All the way over, stretch as far as you can. Now for those who don't want to do too little like Hannah or don't want to do too much like Shanna, just watch me. So we go over, but not the whole way. Okay? Oh, hey guys, we're not tired, we keep jogging, come on. The next one we're going to do is the side joint. The side joint is only found in the thumb. And the side joint is when the opposite surfaces are concave convex. Alright, so since so it's only found in the thumb, we're going to start with your thumb joints. For easy ones, stretch your fingers close to the hand. You're going to start dancing like what hand is doing. Here. And stretch as much as you can. Keep moving. And the meaning for high, do what crazy is doing. Do this, try to point your thumb as high as you can when it's wide. Pull it down, okay? Until it starts hurting. <laughs> okay. Now me, I'm going to do the ones. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to try to do as wide as I can, no, but not as much as paisley as, okay? Don't make it hurt. It's going to be a little bit, okay? Now keep jogging. Right? Okay. Got it. So second joint is the It's called hinge joints. I keep moving. I'm not tired, but keep moving. All right? So the hinge joints is everywhere. It allows you to be really flexible. So the hinge joints are going to be spine. Your knees and your elbows. So, first, for easy, we're going to try to touch your toes as far as you can, okay? Then we'll turn your spine and impose the muscle on your knees. For the next one, for high, we're going to try to point your toes, grab your knees, and go up. Try to hold for as long as you can. That works on your knees and your joints. For medium, for medium, we're going to do high knees. So, high knees obviously works on your knees. And it helps you with the joints on your knees. Keep doing it. Hey guys, so the next joint is called the pivot joint, and it's when it, your joints allow you to rotate your body. So the easy one is what Hinsley is doing right now, and then she is just grabbing on her leg and then rotating it. So just like that. And now the hard one is what Shannon is doing. She's pointing, she's not. Holding her legs, but she's just rotating her legs without any support. So the medium one is when you just rotate it. You don't need to point it like Shannon, you just rotate it. Okay, guys, the next joint is called the gliding joint and allows you to twist anywhere in your body. So here is the easy one, and Pissy's going to be doing it for you guys. She is just bending her knees and rotating. Or twisting her twist. Yeah, the next thing is the uh, harder one, which is what Shannon's doing. And she just sliding on the ground, well, not lying, but she's sitting on the ground. And if you notice, she's not sitting, she's doing this, and she's just rotating or twisting her twist. And then now is the medium one. We're going to be lying on the floor, or sitting on the floor, and then we're going to be rotating. We're going to touch. 